Before we start the episode being reviewed, we have to go back to the episode before it. Sophie's on a date with some guy named Vincent who talks in riddles and poetry and literature, which she's really into. Which makes Chris jealous, resulting in him confronting the two and Sophie getting mad. Later that night, Sophie comes back and disappointingly tells Chris that she's not going to see Vincent anymore. Chris takes this opportunity to tell Sophie his feelings, which she gets excited about. But as they talk, Vincent shows up all vamped out and attacks him. Chris wards him off with a cross, but before he can get too comfortable, Sophie reveals she's a vampire as well and tries to bite him. You okay? I got great news. You dumped that guy just in time. Chris? I think we're gonna be great together. It's not you! The episode ends with Sophie heading to Alucard's castle and asking him to teach her his ways. Well, 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 what have we here? And days since I've had a decent bite. This is most fortuitous. And dare I say exactly what the doctor ordered. There'll be no need for that, Master. I'm here to learn from you. I want you to teach me everything you know. There. Do come in. Now we fast forward to our episode. It starts with Chris having told Dr. Helsing and Max about Sophie and the group being worried about what's going to happen to her. That's when we see her confront one of her teachers. Apparently the two didn't get along, so after some back and forth we see the teacher is who she picked as her first victim. My goodness, I haven't seen you in ages. Not since I kicked you out of my classroom two years ago. No one could possibly know as much as you seem to think you knew. Their heads would explode. I'm sure I wasn't as bad as you remember. That smug smile whenever you were right. An impossible girl. Well, I think you'll find I've changed. It's too late to jar me, Miss Metternich. As far as I'm concerned, you're nothing but an old sly boots. Miss Ringhoff. I'd really like to thank you. What for? For making this even more fun. <sighs> At Alcard's castle, she's introduced to Alcard's new business manager, Mrs. Fleming, and is also gifted a harpsichord at the same time. At the Helsing house, Max and Chris read about the attack on Sophie's teacher. Dr. Helsing lets them know he has some purified water that cured Alcard in the previous episode and hopes that if he gives it to Sophie, it'll turn her back into a normal teenager. Mrs. Fleming calls Sophie into her office. She tries to convince Sophie that Alucard will never take her seriously and them together should take over, but Alucard shows up just before she can finish her point. We see later that Finning is trying to get all of Alucard's people to turn on him while devising a plan to get rid of him. Helsing along with Max and Chris after receiving a postcard from Sophie then arrive at the castle to come get her. Sophie then appears, grabs a sword, and claims that Chris is hers. <laughs> It's me, Chris, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember. This one's mine. Try and catch me, Chris. Well, you said he was yours. What are you standing around for? Once she goes after Chris, Mrs. Fenning goes through with her plan, but just as she fangs out to kill him, Alucard's henchmen stop her. Vampires will, Peter. I love you as my child. A vampire's thirst for blood. Your blood, as it turns out, look hard. Stop her! After killing the henchman, Alucard finds Mrs. Fenning. She attempts to feed him a drink poisoned with holy water, but he reveals that he swished the glasses faster than she could see. Before he can kill her, she tells him she won't give him the satisfaction, drinks the wine, and disintegrates. 
Back in the catacombs, Chris clumsily runs from Sophie with her in bat form, teasing him. Eventually, she corners him after he falls down a hill. She lets him know that she has no plans to kill him and instead wants to turn him so they could be together forever. Before she can bite him, he instead asks for a kiss first. He sprays the healing water on his mouth and the kiss puts her into convulsions, seemingly healing her. Of course you do, Chrissy. And when you join us, we can be young and in love forever. Then you love me too. Of course I do, Chris. So if I'm crazy about you, if I gotta be a vampire to be with you, then that's what I'll do. Come here. We'll be together always. But I, I gotta know you mean what you say. So, before you do it, kiss me first. I'd be delighted. <laughs> self-conscious. What have you done to me? It's water from the pocket springs. Uncle Gustav said it could cure you. No! Chris! No! What happened? The next day, he explains to Sophie what happened, and they once again admit their feelings to each other, but the doorbell rings before they can kiss this time. Through the door comes his girlfriend from back home in the U.S., leaving a love triangle he did not plan for. Sophie in this series was played by a young Canadian actress named Mia Kirshner. Kirshner would go on to make quite a career of herself playing vampire, so this probably won't be the last time that I'll be mentioning her name in one of my recaps. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to know every time I update. If you want to help my channel grow, please check out my Patreon where you can get access to content early as well as see the content that can't be uploaded here on YouTube. Link will be in the description. Until next time.